Hey there guys, so today I'm into my living room. I think this is the second time that I'm filming a, f uh, a filming a video into my living room. The first time I was, I think, was a clip, a video of me renting about an update or something. It was almost a year ago. Anyway, um, today as you can see, I have a tutorial and I think the title already gave it away. Well, so whatever. I have this tutorial, it's from it's from nothing, it's just an inspiration that I got. It's just an inspiration that I got I got a little bit distracted there. Anyway, it's just a little inspiration that I got for the third time. And I love it. Like you guys already know I love color, I love everything, so I don't care about nude, I don't care about nothing. It's colorful. Yeah, I don't know what else I have to tell you guys. So, if you want to know how I did, how I achieved this look, sit back, relax, like I always say, and enjoy the video. Okay, so as always, I'm going to prime my eyelid, and I'm using my favorite eye primer, which is the Too Faced Shadow Insurance eye primer okay so to get this kind of blue I'm first I'm going to apply a base and I'm using my primer palette from sleek and I'm going to use this blue this blue on my eyelid Sugar Pills um, uh, Lumi, I'm going to apply a little bit into my inner corner. Okay, so moving on, I have this new pigment from Gosh, which is named Azure. And it is like teal, turquoise, 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 anyway, whatever. It's this nice blue color. And I'm going to apply it on the rest of my eyelid. Now that, I'm, now that I'm done with the blue, I'm going to use a Sugar Pills, Sugar Pills um, Burning Heart Palette and I'm going to use Poison Plum, the purple, nice purple color and I'm picking up with a little smudge brush and I'm applying this right above my tight line. And then picking up like this little pencil brush, I'm going to pick a little, little bit more of the poison plum and go into my crease. Okay, so now that you're done when applying a little bit into your crease, go back, clean up your brush, and then clean up your brush. I'm using like this little cloth here and um, this little towel thing. Clean up your brush and then go again and try to blend up, blend out the color. Using the same brush, clean it up again. Using the same brush. I'm going to pick up um, from Sugar Pill again Love Plus. This is a red hot color. And I'm going to just like draw a line right above the poison plum. Ok, 
Okay, so now that I'm done with um, applying that line of the Love Plus right above the Poison Plum, I'm using this fluffy brush and fluffy blending brush and I'm going to blend it complete out. As a highlight on my brow bone, I'm going to use Sugar Pills Taco Taco, taco, I don't know how you pronounce it. I, I think it's taco, taco, I, I, I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to use this white, white color, white eyeshadow from Sure Pill, and I'm going to apply it onto my brow bone as a highlight. As for under my waterline, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with the Poison Plum from Sheer Pill. And then I'm going to use this nice purple color from Kiko, which has no name but yet a number. I don't think the lightning is going to do the color justice, but yeah, whatever. Um, it's the number one, 159, and I'm going to apply this, I'm going to apply this on the rest, on, on the rest part under my waterline. going all the way through in but um, I'm just going to stop just uh, right right here and what I'm going to apply is I'm going back to the Lumi from Sugar Pale and with the same brush apply it on the rest part of my inner tear duct As for my waterline, I'm using this bright, this bright um, waterproof eyeliner from Sephora. It's uh, Sephora Flash Liner waterproof, Not bright purple color, bright purple color, and I'm going to apply this on my waterline. Okay, so now I'm just going to apply a thin line of, uh, of my eyeliner using my nail art brush because it's so thin. I'm not going to make any winged eyeliner, just a plain line onto my eye which is going to help to blend in the uh, false lashes when and I apply them. Speaking of false, false lashes, false lashes, false lashes. I'm using these from NYX. Before applying your lashes, don't forget to also apply your uh, mascara. Okay, so now that my face is completely done, I actually did not apply any foundation, nothing, nothing on my face. I only did my eyebrows. So now I think I'm going to fast forward this part of the video and I'm going to just apply my, my um, primer and then my foundation and my concealer and then I will get back to you guys.
now I'm back. I recently bought the Coastal Sense 6 Contour Blush Palette, which is this palette. And um, I'm really happy that I have uh, this bodice at Enchantra. So I'm going to use this dark brown color and I'm going to attempt contouring for the face uh, for the first time. As for the blush, I'm still going to use the same contour palette from Coastal Sense, and I'm going to use this pink color to contour, uh, to contour, to blush. As for a blush for my face. Sleek Sunrise, which is my favorite highlighter, um, which is this color. It is this uh, beautiful color. And about this palette, I am actually going to film a video on DIY how I deposit them. As for my lips, um, you can either Go bright, I'll go home. This is my complete look. What did you guys think of my new setup of for the tutorial? Let me know down in the comments what do you guys think about it because I'm in my living room. It's a little bit difficult to like take everything from my room to here. But I have like almost everything into this little tray here. Yeah, a little tray. And yeah. Um, excuse also excuse my hair because I washed it and I did some twists and they didn't didn't came out like that well. I also started my hair journey, which I have to make a video also about it. This was it. I hope that you guys like this video. I hope that you guys like this tutorial. Like I said again, tell me what you think about this new uh, setup. If you prefer it here or do you guys prefer that I do it like I did it before like in my room and with a little bit more close up. Give me the thumbs up if you really like the video. Favorite the favorite the video if you like the video again and yeah if you're not a subscriber, shame on you. Go ahead and click the subscribe button. Yeah. I don't think I have anything else to say to you guys so I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye!